Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Goedemiddag. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you holding up? Lord knows I'm not. Before I start off this video, I just wanna make sure that everyone's okay, everyone's still staying inside. Let's stay inside, let's stay safe. And hopefully with this video today, I get to distract you a little bit and make you think of something else something other than the mess that's happening outside. If there ever was a time for you to experiment at home with your look, with your hair, with your makeup, with your outfit, to kind of see yourself in a different light, I think the time is now. So a lot of you have been asking me for a neutral glam, like a neutral ultra glam, but on a budget. Get ready for the glam. Get ready for the transformation. Let's go. All right, everybody, let's get this beauty on a budget look started. For primer today, because natural prime is a crime, I am going in with this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. It prepares the skin and improves makeup wear. It refreshes the complexionness. Yes. Listen, I want today's video to be proof that you don't have to have the most expensive products to look the part. Today's video is gonna show you how to look fire without busting the bank. Just this step alone makes you feel bougie AF. Okay. For foundation, I am using this right here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation. I tried 24 hour makeup before. Wanna see what that looks like after 24 hours? Click somewhere in the screen. I'll have it up or I'll put it in the description box below. Not gonna wear this for 24 hours, but I am putting it on my face right now. Oh, you see that? See those little frizzies? Am I just gonna, no. Am I just, no. Ooh, maybe a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna regret that. Oh. I already hate myself. I'm picking up that foundation on a beauty sponge and I'm just gonna start tapping it in up and down movements. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video for a special giveaway where I'll be giving away a little bit of shmoney in these rough times. Look how flawless that is. Look how good. You wanna make sure that you blend the foundation all the way to every little corner that is visible on your face. So if you have your hairline, you kind of want to smudge it into the hairline a little bit so it's traceless. You never want it to look like you're wearing a mask. <laughs> Who am I kidding? My foundation always looks like a mask. <laughs> forehead, or in my case, ten head. What I do with the forehead is I focus most of the product like on the center, and then I just kind of bring it up. Oh boy, yes! Now it's time for concealer, and I have two options, so it's up to you. Maybe you have one of these laying around. I have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Really like that one, but this is a newer one. I've been loving this one too. This is by Makeup Revolution. It is a 16 hour wear, conceal and define. A lot of you guys know the conceal and define concealers, but they have a new one, Infinite. So today, Makeup Revolution it is. And I'm using the color C2. Oh, all right, in a little bit, I'm gonna bake my under eyes and set my entire face using the Fit Me Loose Powder in 05 by Maybelline. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera for a little bit and do my brows. Um, I did a brow tutorial not too long ago and I'm using the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Defining Pencil. This is up there with Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, the benefit precisely my brow. Like this feels like high-end makeup. In my humble opinion, one of the best eyebrow pencils on the market. So I'm gonna be using this to fill up my brows and then I'll be back. Brows are done, brows are looking luscious and sharp, and now it is time for a soft ultra glam makeup look. So I've done a soft glam makeup tutorial before, and it was mainly focusing on a lot of matte shades. And today I wanna channel that same vibe, but add a little bit more glam and more sparkle. This right here is the LA Girl Pro Artistry Eyeshadow Palette in the color. 
Hello, I don't know the name, but it is this one with these sort of like neutral shades in it. So what I wanna be doing is create that soft, smoky haze, that smoky lash line, and then a pop of shimmer on the lid. Before we apply any shadow though, we have to Optimus Prime. We have to prime that eyelid to make sure that all the hard work that we're putting in is gonna last. And a nice and affordable trick for that is just picking up your concealer and using that as a base. Once your eyelid is primed, it is time for the first shadow. And the first color I wanna go in with feels like this shade right here. All right, I'm picking up that shade and I'm stamping it into the crease and we're going all the way in. So from outer to inner corner, we are defining that crease. And I'm just stamping that color onto that concealer base because that way the pigment is really gonna adhere to the sticky concealer, almost acting like a magnet. And with that same brush, whatever is left on the brush, I start diffusing the harsh edge by making soft circular motions like this. Then on a more fluffy brush, you just wanna fluff that color into the front of the brow. This is gonna give you that beautiful sculpted look at the nose region. On the lid, I don't know why, but this color is speaking to me. So I wanna pick that up on a brush and put it down on my lid, but a little bit further up because you wanna keep very close to the lash line clear for dark smokiness. <gasps> Oh my God, LA girl said, hi. Feeling set during quarantine season? Here, let's cheer you up. There's a little bit of fallout on the face, so we're just gonna get rid of that, but ooh, yes. Okay, that right there, that what's happening on the lid right now, ooh, that was exactly what I was looking for. So now it is time to smoke out the lash line. Cause one of the key features of Soft Glam is a smoky lash line. So I'm going in with this chocolatey brown here, and we're going to town. By the way, I do wanna take this moment to address all your sweet messages for my mom. Um, um, my mom got really, really sick about a week and a half ago. And um, because we ran out of tests for everybody here in the Netherlands, they only test the elderly or people in severe conditions um, on the virus. They didn't test my mom, so we never got like a 100% like, yes, you have it. But she had all the symptoms and even the doctors said, you pretty much have it. You just, we cannot give you a test right now. So she had to go back home and rest and get well. And uh, Mama Tutorials is finally doing a bit better, very slow and that's one thing she definitely mentioned is that this virus takes extremely long to get rid of out of your system. Um, she coughed a lot, she was very tired, her lungs were a problem, um, but very slowly she's crawling back up and uh, she even dressed up, wore a little bit of makeup a couple of days ago and it made her feel, even though she was exhausted because of it, it made her feel so powerful. So thank you for your well wishes and I just wanna let you know that Mama Tutorials as Mila chokes on the fallout of this palette. <laughs> but I just wanna let you know that Mama Tutorials is slowly getting better. And of course, we're also gonna smoke that out into that outer portion here. Smoke it. See, see what's happening? A very ultra soft glam moment. So when I think of soft glam makeup, you wanna think of sculpted smokiness in the crease, on the front of the brow, and the lash line. The lid can be pretty much whatever you want it to be. So today I opted for this like silvery, pewtery color to go with the vibes. Um, that's about it. And then for the lower lash line, you wanna smoke, smoke, smoke it out. So that is what I'm doing. And I'm not in any shape or form or any way trying to tell you that this is soft. Soft glam doesn't mean it's actually soft. It's actually a lot of sculpted, very smartly placed shadows to make it look like you know, you know. <laughs> but if you want it to look soft, go to TikTok, put the G6 filter on it, the bling effect and some sunlight, zoom it in and you'll look soft clam. <laughs> By the way, if I haven't said it here yet, I'm on TikTok. Follow me, it's at Nikki Tutorials. I'm still finding my groove out there, but I'm on it, so give me some time. For the lower lash line, again, to make the shadow stick, I'm applying a bit of that concealer and taking that same brown as I used at the top. And I'm gonna just start placing it very closely to the lash line 
and start getting smoky up in here. Now, even though I'm loving the pigmentation of this palette, if you have this at home and you wanna try it for recreating this look, just make sure that, just know, be aware that there's fallout. So it's always dark and smoky, but not this sort of like there. You kinda wanna smoke it out a bit. So I'm gonna take that first crease color and make it softer. Oh, it's starting to become a vibe. I can see it. Okay, now it's time for this color to do its thing and highlight my inner corner. Oh, oh, hi. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, pop a lash on, I'll be right back for more. I am living for this glam. It is smoky, it is mysterious, it is seductive and on a budget. I mean, if you ask me, I think this is one of the best getting ready for the living room looks there is. Time for bronzer. I am using the Maybelline City Bronzer in 100. I've been using this very frequently lately and it's so good. So I take the bronzer, I start from way up here and then in circular motions, I bring it forward and my face shape benefits from pulling the bronzer down here because my natural shape goes like this. So I just kind of enhance that, but please look at your face and the way your sort of contours naturally fall. Just follow along. To contour the nose and give yourself that perfect soft glam structured nose, just take my bronzer and bronze my entire nose. So touching the top of my nose, just kind of brushing that bronzer on all the way. Then take your face powder and snatch the sides. Do a little bit on the top of the bridge. Look at that, that is a carved nose. Now I take a big face brush and brush away the face powder lightly and you're left with a softly structured contoured nose. For blush, I'm gonna take one of my all-time favorites. This one is by Flower Beauty. This is a Flower Pots powder blush, and this one is in the color Peach Primrose. Oh my God, I just watched The Hunger Games, all four of them, like this past weekend, and just Primrose, <laughs> Prim. <laughs> oh, my volunteer is And we're just gonna blush from the side, pulling in, but keeping it mostly on the side of the face to pull up and sculpt even more. I was gonna do a bit on the nose, on the bridge, and seeing that, like that. Okay, one of the most beaming affordable highlights in my collection is by Catrice. This is a 3D glow highlighter in the color Icy Glaze. Oh honey, you only need a tiny bit of this, cause, ooh. Mm-mm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the essential key parts of a soft glam look is a nude overlined lip. So if you're against it, do your thing, do your own thing with your lips. I'm just gonna create my own. I am gonna line and fill in my lips using this Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the color Lead the Way. and popping my favorite nude gloss on top, also by Maybelline, this is the Vivid Hot Lacquer in Tease. This is a staple. If you see me wearing a glossy nude lip, this is the gloss. And to seal the deal and set everything, I'm going in with this setting spray by Catrice, and this one is the HD Active Performance Free Zinc Spray. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it, my glow babies. This is a soft, glam, smoky, ultra sexy look on a budget. All right, so for today's giveaway, I know we're all struggling out here, so I wanna help a few of you out with a little bit of money. So to five lucky glow babies, I am giving $250 to spend on anything. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, be subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment down below featuring the Dutch word of the day. For today's Dutch word of the day, thank you so much for commenting on my last video. Of course, in the last video, the Dutch word of the day was kamer, room. And lots of you guys have been making the, oh my God, getting ready to go to the living room joke. So today's Dutch word of the day is for living room. Boonkamer, boon, ka, 
Mar. My makeup is on and I am ready to go to the bone calmer. <laughs> If you wanna get featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave a comment down below featuring the Dutch word of the day, Von Kammer. And who knows, you might see your face pop up in the next one. I wanna thank you so much for watching today's brand new video. I love you so much. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.